Yo, what's up guys? It's Sheroy again from Just Another Style Channel and as always your boy is hands free and stress free because these videos are pre-recorded while I'm in class because your boy is a young scholar focusing on school. Well, kinda, not really because I'm always copying Supreme in class but I'm giving you guys my live commentary after it all happens when I can actually see the footage for myself and see what went down for the week. Now this week was week 18 and the only item I actually tried for was the axe because I had a shovel from the last season and I wanted it to pair with this as a set as like a kind of like survival set when I go to sell it and this shovel is not on stock X so it's kind of beneficial to sell both together. So I basically went back and forth every 10 seconds to see when the drop happened because the EU site did not have the axe as an accessory because it wasn't allowed and then when 11 o'clock hit it didn't go through actually so I was refreshing and refreshing so I'm like maybe the drops delayed won't be too long I just checked if it's at the bottom in case axe pops up I add to cart go to checkout and next thing you know I liked a little bit filled out all my information and then when I go to press process payment it did not press properly so I press it again so I heard that actually a few people had this problem so I thought you know what your boy was finessed right here and there because you know when I do not get the process payment it basically means that I'm done so but you know your boy got it and then something really weird happened so I got everything and I'm like good I got the axe and then I got this sign over here that says the item in your cart sold out but by then I had already checked my phone and I saw that I got the confirmation email so I wasn't stressing too much about that and then going over the items right at the 11 o'clock mark so basically a few seconds after I checked out for this uh, nothing was really sold out in my opinion I don't think so I think one or two items might have been sold out but nothing really I think like a tank top or two at most but almost everything was pretty much available at this point this week overall was not the greatest week but I think like you know for a lot of people it wasn't a hype week but I think the Spitfire collaboration was dope especially since Supreme is a skateboarding brand it was staying true to its roots with collaborating with another skateboarding brand and I actually do own a Spitfire skateboard so it was kind of cool to see that they're collaborating with Spitfire and did some unique graphics and things like that and then at the two minute mark going over everything again uh, not everything was sold out the striped tees were like the button ups were kind of dope but I would not pay for a Supreme one. I can probably get that Zara. A few tank tops that sold out at this point. I think a hoodie or two as well. Uh, I think only in one colorway. The shirts were all pretty much available at this point. I know a lot of people were feeling some of the shirts. And then um, the camp caps were starting to sell out. And these were kind of dope because they had the box logo on them. So, you know, those always do well. Not for resale, but for personal. The bucket hats were selling out. The camo one was one of the first to go. And I believe some of the vans sold out as well, which was really good considering that they were not the best models and going over the materials on them yes they are dope I honestly love the materials the mix of corduroy and the croc skin effect on it but it was the wrong models in my opinion even with the old English font on the back it was really dope if this was in a skate high and the other one was in old school I would have probably caught both of them and kept them in my personal and I'm being honest with that I like the color combination uh, that wasn't too bad as people said but like I mentioned earlier, this axe is now in my collection. Well, not in my collection because I'm going to resell it. I actually did sell it by the time I even post this video, so that's good. And that's because I sold it as a set with the SOG or SOG shovel and sold it with the SOG axe as well. So I was kind of planning ahead of time that, you know what, I'm going to hold on to this and then sell it later on. And as soon as I found out that having an axe, I'm like, you know what, I know I'm going to sell it because this entire season's based around like survival accessories. So it's kind of dope to sell a previous survival accessory with a new one and especially because that shovel is not on StockX. I have no idea why it's not on StockX but you know I got the shovel. It does ship to Canada. Uh, sorry I got the axe and it does ship to Canada contrary to a lot of belief. Um, you can actually purchase a SOG or SOG axe from Amazon so you know what if it's on Amazon it's going to come through to my house and everything is sold this week so I'm pretty happy and I'm pretty happy I got a W considering a lot of people got an L on this. Sucks that the European website did not get this item, but you know, same thing happened with the Samurai Sword. And I didn't go for that because your boy was attending his college graduation that week, so I'll mention that to you guys in another video. But thank you guys for always watching and let me know down in the comment section below what you guys picked up or passed on this week. 
And it's always cool to see what you guys grab or didn't grab or if you guys resell. Let me know what you guys sold your stuff for down in the comment section below. And thank you guys so much. I think we're really close or going to be at a thousand subscribers by the time this video goes up. So it means the world to me that you guys actually watch my content and I appreciate all of you and your views and your subscriptions and your likes and everything else and comments from the bottom of my heart. That means a lot to me. And as always, make sure to like, comment, subscribe and I will see you guys next time.